uh, we're looking at, which is kind of rare, we're actually looking at the back of an engine panel. And um, a lot of them actually look like this. I mean, it's not inspiring, um, but this is certainly how a lot of them look. You can tell that things have been added, changed over time. Um, use of some labeling and some tape that becomes so brittle that they fall off. You can see that. Wires that have been cut and terminated, you know, not connected over time, peeled over. So at least there's some sort of labeling. Um, there's a solar controller over here. And you can see there's a junction box right beside it. And there's a remote control for it. Where there's a cable. Um, so you've got some good over here. Um, what you find is, on, especially on a, on a wiring harness like this, you'll notice that there's, there's very few connections that are using actually um, uh, heat shrink terminals. Everything is kind of more automotive uh, terminals. So if you were going to rewire one of these, and it sounds like you ordered another wiring harness, I would be terminating all these connections with proper heat shrink so that you never have to do it again. Uh, you can see, I mean, just over here, for example, you can see the wires are actually starting to really show sign of corrosion because they're actually not tinned. None of these wires are tinned. Uh, back in the day, they didn't use tin wiring. And so it makes matters worse. So pretty essential to actually use heat shrink, which is what you've got over here. All right, you can actually tell. This is a heat shrink terminal right over here. So that was used on the instruments. Yeah. I'm always a, a big, uh, I think that as people do more and more bundles, and you can actually see with this bundle, people are adding tie straps, but they're not taking the time to remove the old ones. And I know it sounds silly, but, you know, as a boat owner, chaos is natural, order isn't. So if you want to look something that you're detail oriented, and you care about details, as a, and as a do-it-yourself electrician, you have to care about details. Every single uh, individual that works on electrical has to care about details. It's a detail type of business. You know, there's no reason to have one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven um, tie straps. You know, you could have, you want to have it supported, but as you go along, remove the other ones or include all of them, right? And all of that doesn't mean doesn't seem to make sense but if everything's nice and neat uh, when it's gonna be time to troubleshoot it's gonna make it a lot easier a lot easier and that's something that an owner can do by himself it just takes time and patience and also make sure that you don't cut the tie straps like that because over time what's gonna happen is if you ever uh, run your hands try to reach somewhere you're gonna cut yourself and like you can cut yourself pretty seriously like I've got a lot of scarring on my arms from tie wraps uh, that were not properly cut